So on MTGI, we have this imager, which is so much more accurate because there's more channels. So we will see more features in the atmosphere. Not only will we see more features, but we'll see them with a finer resolution and also with a finer time sequence, so more rapidly. So all this means we are going to much better analyze these rapidly developing systems, in particular in unstable regions. And we are also very exciting about the lightning imager. This is something absolutely new of our Europe and Africa that we will have this sort of, of imager. And through data simulation, these data will also document other parameters in, that we will use in weather forecasts that, we will, that will help uh, predict the weather in these active areas. And finally, the lightning imager then can document where there is this production of NOx gases, which can be detrimental. So uh, I, th I think this is really a new instrument, which will be also a, a game changer on MTGI. So the MTG uh, program uh, actually combines two different sorts of satellites. Now, one of the satellites is MTGS, MTG Sounder. And that, for the first time, has got uh, a satellite sounding instrument on board. These have only oper been operated in research mode before. Sounding satellites are quite remarkable in many ways because they provide a profile through the atmosphere and actually a three-dimensional picture of what is going on. The usefulness of this for numerical weather prediction and understanding the behaviour of the atmosphere is absolutely enormous. But also there will be, on top of... Um on top of this IRS, this infrared sounder, which we are really excited about. Uh, maybe I would like to say as well that Sentinel-4 is also going to be a game changer on this platform, on MTGS. And this is now for atmospheric composition. For some of these components of the atmosphere, uh, which are documenting air quality and pollution, having a rapid analysis in time of them is also very important.